Hello you guys! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, um, I created some farmhouse decor and I made three super easy uh, curtain tie bags. They are super easy to make and also budget friendly. So let's get to it! The idea for the first creation came from the Kumihimo braid, which for me looks awesome. For this you need a Kumihimo disc and some type of thread, yarn, anything that you can uh, make a braid out of. If you don't have a Kumihimo disc, you can make one out of cardboard and cut uh, some grooves every uh, one, almost one centimeter. I already cut eight strands of each color and I am going to uh, make a knot at one end first. You will have to put your work in the center of the disc because that's where the braid is gonna form and fall down. Then you will have to place every two strands, in my case because I used two colors. If you use a chunkier braid you will only need one strand. So you will put beside the black dot two strands. Keep in mind that uh, it's best that your work, the strand that's gonna uh, be braided, is always in the middle of your um, circle. After you finish uh, putting all the strands in, you can adjust the, the core and tighten very well all the sides and then you're ready to start. We will start on the right side of the dot, working only on the vertical side and you will take that strand and put it on the right of the strand from the bottom. Take the left strand from the bottom and put it in the left side of the top um, thread and then you rotate clockwise and do the same thing. You have to pay attention because working with such long strands, you are bound to get them uh, very uh, knotted on the bottom. So at one point I just got up and uh, worked uh, while standing, so uh, it made it easier uh, to untangle them. After 
after you reach your desired length, you will just have to uh, hold the middle tight and take out all the thread and make a knot. After that is done, just put both ends together, uh, make them equal and cut them uh, shorter and that will result in resulting two little nice tassels. Then I went and make a double knot, which looks quite nice. For the second one, I used just rope and I made a double coin, I think it's called a double coin knot, which was a bit tricky at first because I couldn't remember how to make it, but then um, I suddenly remembered and after a few tries, I did it. I think it's easier to just watch what I'm doing than explaining. I'm very, very bad at explaining. After you manage to make the knot, you'll just have to work a little bit to make it a tighter and smaller, obviously. So cute, it looks like a pretzel. For this last one, I used uh, this type of cord, which I don't even remember where I have it from. But anyway, I created uh, some roses. I think you already know these uh, type of roses because I created them before in my um, uh, frame, my Valentine's Day frame. So just create the roses and then sew them I made a total of three just because this was the only core that I had so I had to keep enough to be able to um, tie my curtain I had to uh, sew a little bit the ends, even if uh, I made a really poor job at it, at least uh, they won't fray.
nobody would see them anyway because they are in the back of the curtain, but uh, yeah. wanted to find the middle of my cord so that I can um, place the three roses exactly in the middle. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and a like. Uh, tell me um, what other ideas do you think you would like to see from me and also any feedback is welcome. I think they look quite cute and they go well with the curtain. Thank you for watching. See you next time.